Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and this is going to be a tutorial about Toon Boom Harmony's camera and why I love it. It's allowing you to get some really cool multiplane shots in without having to pull your hair out or having to program anything. Now, the camera is available in Harmony Essentials, Advanced, and Premium. And if you're using programs like Toon Boom Animate, the camera pretty much works the exact same way. So the techniques I'm using can be used in older versions as well. So if you look at your screen, if you're looking at your screen, this is what we're going to be working on. Uh, I've actually slowed this down just to take a look at it. And we have our animation and we've even got it doing a nice little ease out. I've dropped it down in frame rate from 24 just to eight, just to see what things are looking like. Uh, my final piece, I'll probably come back in and change the timing. But anyway, let me show you how we got this done. So I'm starting out with my document and I have a background, I have a middle ground, a foreground, and I even have some bushes. Now, what you want to think about if you're creating this or if you have an illustrator that's creating this for you, have them draw everything to scale. So that's what we did with the buildings here. Even though they're going further back, we're going to draw them exactly the size we want them to be. Even if things are smaller in the background there. Okay. So what I want to do next is I'm going to look at my top view. And if you don't see this, simply go up to Windows, come down and select Top. So I can see my different layers. I have a color card, which is that blue background that's way in the back. I can select here, and that's selecting my background, middle ground, and foreground. And if you look, this is kind of like a diorama. This little line right here represents all of these layers is if we're looking straight down on top of them. So by default, they're all at the same Z index or Z axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the background and I'm going to go over here and let's see, I'm missing some tools. I need my advanced animation tools. So let's go to windows, come down to toolbars and select advanced animation. I'm going to grab my translate tool. And I'm going to do this uh, the wrong way first, just to show you how this works. I'm going to click and push backward so it goes back in space. So it's further away now. Now, if you're familiar with working in After Effects, that's kind of the way things would go, and then you'd go in and scale everything back up. But inside of Tomb Boom Harmony, we've got a better way of doing this. So I'm going to do Command Z to undo that. And instead, I'm going to come over here to this tool that says Maintain Size. So I'll click on that. And now I'm going to push the background backward. But if you look over in our view here, nothing is changing because it's maintaining the size. So I'll select the middle ground, push that back a little bit further as well. Foreground, I'm going to bring that forward. If you notice, I can make the bushes disappear a little bit. Let's bring that a little bit forward. And last but not least, I'll select the bushes and bring those ahead of the foreground. Now, I've done all of this with my Maintain Size tool. So the next thing I want to do is I want to come in and use a camera. So I'll come down here to my timeline and I'll add a camera. And because I want my camera to be able to move, I'm going to attach it to a peg. But before I do that, I do want to show you what the camera can do. I click on translate. And I'm just moving the camera around from left to right. And just that quickly, we have this beautiful little multi-plane scene. 
So I'm going to do Command Z to undo that. Now, if you notice at the very beginning, I didn't even set this up. So it's not going off the edge. The reason I'm not worried about that is because I don't have to scale this because this isn't a stage as it is in Flash. This is my camera. So what I want to do with my camera selected, I'm going to attach a peg to the camera. And instead of me enlarging the city, I'm going to push the camera in until it fills up that scene. And I can even come here right in the camera area and click on the top and just pull that up a little bit. Now, none of this is animated yet. So what I want to do is I'll select all of my layers. Let's hold on my shift key and I'll extend the exposure just doing F5. And for the camera, I'll go ahead and start animating this. I'm going to turn on my animate button. In the first frame, let's go ahead and insert a keyframe, F6. And I'll go all the way to the end. Looks like our bushes are disappearing. Let's go all the way to the end. And I want the camera to push in a little bit, maybe over. And because this is actually a vector, I can get away with pushing in pretty closely to one of the windows. All right, so I'm just kind of toying backward between the top as well as directly on the camera view. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is make sure the, ah, there we are. The bushes are on each layer there. Let's do F5 and make sure that's extended. All right, and last but not least, this is another thing that I always joke with people about. Uh, I'm, I had, had a good friend that I always, actually the person who actually drew this, Lamont, uh, he would always do these little black uh, frames around things if he was working in Flash. And that's pretty much to show what everything would look like when it's animated. So I'm gonna turn on my camera mask. And so it blocks everything out. And I'll come down here, let's turn this on loop. I'll click play. All right, and last but not least, I think I'll adjust my easing. So I'll select this key, come over here, and I think I have that slow out a bit. So if we try this, okay, not too bad. And what I want to do now is I want to see if I can show my controls. Okay, so that's Command F11 or just right click and do show controls. And what this is, it shows our actual path here. So what I can do is in the top view, come over and actually have this curved a bit. And maybe I want this to start over a little bit more and push it in so we're not cutting anything off. So we can even curve the direction of what's going on. And maybe the very beginning will even bring it at the base. Not too low down. And there you have it. So that's how you can use a camera. That's also how you can uh, adjust different types of easing, as well as going and change the actual path. 
So there are a few things uh, you can do with the camera. You don't have to add any extra plugins. It's straight out of the box. And this is in Harmony Essentials, Advanced and Premium. And the camera is pretty awesome. We use it a lot, especially if you want to do a simple little scene. If it's like a newscasters or something like that, it can animate the entire scene and just kind of move your camera around from each person to person, then pull back for a long shot. And it's all in one scene. So that's the camera. Also want to let you guys know that we have our brand new tutorial title coming out, Mastering Lip Sync in Toon Boom Harmony. And that's going to be released on September 12th. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and grab that because this week only, we're actually offering it 50% off. So you can get it instead of at the $99 price, it's at $49. And on Monday, it goes to 79 and the week after that, it goes to its permanent price of 99 So if you haven't already, just go ahead and grab that and spread the word about Tony Teach. The more people that know about us, the more things we can offer at free and low cost. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.